All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson one. And in this lesson, students are going to be learning how to multiply multi-digit whole numbers and multiples of 10 using place value patterns. Okay, so basically, what does this mean? This means the idea of, we know, for example, 40 times 30. The classic trick that teachers would teach is, well, you take the four, you take the three, you multiply, you get 12, then you stick on the two zeros, and that's your answer. The point of this lesson is to explain the mathematical underpinnings of why that makes sense. So that math is more than just a trick to memorize, but it has some meaning to it. So let's get started. All right, so the directions up here say fill in the blanks using your knowledge of place value. So the idea is this is going to guide us towards that classic trick uh, of multiplication but with an idea of, well, it, it's going to make sense because we're going to uh, explain the mathematics that's going on behind it. So let's start with A. It says 43 times 30, and they want us to think about this as 43 ones times 3 tens. So over here, 43 copies, so 43 ones is another way of saying 43 copies of a one times, because it says times right here, and then three tens. So that means three copies of ten. And that's kind of the mathematical, this is the mathematical way of explaining what is going on over here. Well, now we could use the commutative property and the associative property to rearrange this to be 43 times three times 1 times 10. So you see, I just took these and used the commutative property and uh, regrouped and rearranged and regrouped them. So now 43 times 3, that's pretty straightforward. That's 129 times, and then 1 times 10, well, that's pretty straightforward. That's 10. And we learned from the previous module that 129 times 10 is 1,290. So there we go. So this whole answer goes right here. Well, I mean, this is all the work to explain what's going on. That uh, right here, 43 ones times 3 tens, that's right here, 129 tens. So that's 129 tens, which ends up equaling 1,290. Let's see. Uh, let's go. Let's skip down to problem C. So we've got 830 times 20. So 830 times 20. Well, that's the same thing as saying, well, that's 83 copies of 10, 83 tens, times two copies of tens, or two tens. And so we can use our associative and our commutative properties to get that this is equal to 83 times 2 times 10 times 10. So 83 times 2. Well, 83 times 2 is, let's see, 166 times, and we know that 10 times 10, well, that's 100. And so we end up with... 166 with those two extra zeros. So it's the idea is this becomes 166 times 100, which from the previous module we learned how to multiply by powers of 10, 10, 100, and 1,000. So this ends up equaling, uh, where am I? Oh, right here, 116,600. Now, we do want to fill in this blank. So when you have 83 tens times two tens, that's equal to 166 hundreds. So we could write in the word hundreds right here. Hundreds, yeah. All right, so this slide is really just a bunch of practice. So we're going to start with 80 times 5. And we know that 80 is 8 copies of 10 times 5. Now, 5 can be thought of as 5 copies of 1. And so now using the associative and the commutative property, we can regroup and rearrange and get 8 times 5 times 10 times 1, which ends up giving us 40 times 10. 
And we now know that, you know, from the previous module, that 40 times 10 is equal to 400. So there is our answer right there. So now let's take a look at 80 times 50. Well, 80 times 50, well, that's 8 copies of 10 times 5 copies of 10. Using the commutative and the associative property, we can move things around and regroup them. And so you get 8 times 5 times 10 times 10. So that equals 40 times 100, which is equal to 4,000. The idea being we've got 40, and we're going to stick on those two extra zeros. All right, let's squeeze in one last example. Let's just do 8,000 times 50. Now, 8,000 times 50. So 8,000 is 8 copies of 1,000 times, and then 50 is 5 copies of 10. So using the commutative property to rearrange everything and the associative property to regroup, we have 8 times 5 times 1,000 times 10. And so we know that 8 times 5 is 40, and then 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. And so that we know our answer is that 40 with four extra zeros. One, two, three, four. We know that from the previous module. So our answer here is 400,000. And that is that one right there. Last problem for this video. It says a concrete stepping stone measures 20 square inches. So you've got this concrete stepping stone and they're saying that stepping stone is 20 square inches. But we have 30 of them. So we've got another one, and another one, and another one, dot, 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 and all the way and to that last one. And we have 30 copies of that. So that means we're going to do 30 copies of the 20 inches squared. So, temporarily, we're going to ignore that inches squared label right here. And we're just going to focus on that 30 times 20. So that's going to be 3 times 10 times 2 times 10. And then using the commutative and the associative property, that gives us, whoops, sorry, uh, that gives us 3 times 2 times 10 times 10 which gives us 6 times 100, which gives us 600 square inches. Um, so that is the area of 30 of these stepping stones. And that wraps up 5th grade module 2 lesson 1, the idea of using mathematics to understand the trick of taking the 4 and the 3, multiplying them, and then sticking on those two zeros.